When using the method I used to solve the Rubik's Cube blindfolded, the first thing you memorize and the first thing you execute is corner orientation, which means twisting a corner in place without disturbing any of the pieces around it. And the way we do that is we use the algorithms that you should have learned from the video before this to twist these two corners. The C1 rotates this one clockwise, and the A1 rotates this one counterclockwise, and the opposite with this one. This is our buffer zone, and this is the piece that we don't want to disturb when doing our setup moves. We're going to bring pieces from around the cube into our buffer zone, twist them, and then put them back where they belong. So, I memorize a clockwise corner as C, a correctly oriented corner as 0, and an incorrectly oriented corner that has to go anti-clockwise as A. The way I memorize is from the corner closest to me and then away from me and stay on the bottom. So for this solve it would be C 0 A A A C and C. So the way we would execute that would be first do this one. So C we do the C algorithm. zero, bring A into our buffer zone, and do the A algorithm, put it back, then A, do the A algorithm, put it back, this one, put it into our buffer zone, A algorithm, C, put it into our buffer zone and the last one is C so bring it into our buffer zone and the corners are correctly oriented So I've just shown you my guide for memorizing edge orientation and permutation and corner permutation. So this one is, for corner permutation, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. This one goes here, so it's 7. 7 goes to 4, 7, 4, 3. Now our buffer zone is solved, but we still have two unsolved uh, corners. So what we're going to do is we're going to go 6, and that's 5, and 6. So our first one, 7. So only using D, F2, and L2 turns. Okay. And when I say D, you can do D2 or D prime, as well as D. So we bring the 7 corner into our buffer zone without disturbing these two edges or this corner. And we're going to use the first J prime. that corner is solved. So this one goes here, which is number four, only using double turns for the F face. And it's solved. And this one goes three, so we don't even have to do any setup moves for it. But now our buffer zone is solved. So we need to swap these two. So we go 6, 5, 6. So we'll bring 6 into place. It is. Put it back. 5. And 6.
corner permutation is complete. To teach the orientation and permutation of edges for this blindfolded method, which we do at the same time, uh, I've only moved around a few edges, as you can see, just to keep the video shorter. So, using that guide I showed you earlier, we know that this piece in our buffer zone goes here, which is our T spot. So, without disturbing our buffer zone, we're going to bring this piece over here and then put it back using the opposite of our set of moves. This one goes here, which is Q. So, we're going to bring Q up and we're going to use the first J permutation. This one goes here, which is M, over and up, T perm. This one goes here, which is J. This one goes here, which is O. And this one goes here, which is G. So that's how we orient and permute edges.